Welcome to lesson number two of the Become a Guitar Slayer online guitar course. This is the second free lesson. Now, before we move on to the lesson, let's quickly do a checklist on the last lesson. So we're going to do two exercises, exercise number four and exercise seven. So let's start with exercise four using the open, first fret, third fret and open. And one, two, three, four. Now again, you can try that one on the sixth string if you want to, so you can go back and do the same thing on the sixth string. So let's go to exercise number seven, E minor and G. And one, two, three, four. If you can play those two videos and all the other exercises on lesson one, it's time to move on. So great job for passing lesson one. If you are having any problems, uh, make sure you can go to the Facebook page and ask any questions there as well. And you might find some other people having the same problems, so check it out. Now also you might be finding, again, your fingers are really sore, uh, so that notes aren't sounding really clear, but that, that will happen over time. So just bear with it, it's only the first week, so you will get the hang of it. And I guarantee you by the end of these 10 lessons, your fingers will be hard and ready to go. And don't forget to use that thumb on the back of the neck. It's really important. Okay, so in this lesson, we're gonna concentrate on three new chords and do some exercises and a little scale as well. So let's start with the melodies to get you going. So the first exercise, exercise eight, is from my book called Become a Guitarist Today. The song is called Plain Groove. Now this one starts on the third string, on the second fret. This is the A note. We're gonna play that one two times. Then we move to the second string and play the first fret, again with our first finger. And then we go to the third fret, which is D, with our third finger. So it's on the same string. So the third string, second fret, which is A, second string, first fret, second string, Third fret. Let's try it with the backing. So get your second finger ready and keep those other fingers around near the frets. So here we go. Down to the first fret, third fret. And again. First fret, third fret. Watch your picking as well, that you're hitting the right string. So that's another very important thing as well. So make sure whatever string you're playing with your fretting hand, your strumming hand must pick the same one. So again, so if I'm picking that third string, the pick is on the third string. second and third. Now our second exercise is also from a book. This one's called Dynamite and it's the first four bars. So this time we're going to start with our little finger 
on the fifth fret. And we're going to do this note four times. This is an A note. And then we're going to use our second finger this time on the third fret. And play that four times on the G note. Now the first fret is going to play the second fret. This is the F sharp. Three times. And then we go to the second string on the third fret, the D note again. Just one time. Then back to the first string open. Three times. Now all these notes are in the, the PDF which come with a lesson. So you can have a look at the, the notes. And in the next lesson we'll be going over the tab as well. So let's try it with the backing. So starting from the fifth fret with our little finger. Third fret. Second, three times. Second string, third fret, open. And again. Let's finish on the five. Okay, now our third exercise is a scale called G major. Now we're not going to get into the theory right now, but I just want you to learn how to play it and more about playing the guitar. But scales are very important to learn for guitar playing later on when you get into improvising and melodies. Okay, so the G major, we're gonna start on the third string open. That's our G note, second fret, A. Now down to the second string, B open. C on the first fret, D on the third fret. E open on the first string, second fret F sharp, third fret G. So it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now let's try it with the backing. And one, two, three, four. Backwards. So it is our G major scale. So if it is too slow, you can just practice it by yourself as well. Just. Now the other thing you'll notice, I am using up and down picking as well. So, it's but it's really up to you. If for now you can just do it down, but later on we will get into using up and down picking. Okay, now our next exercise is it's a little bit tricky, especially for the younger ones, because we're going to reach up to this sixth string on the fifth fret, and we're going to play the the first finger on the fifth fret. Our second finger is on the sixth fret, third finger on the seventh, and a little finger on the eighth. So you're going to use all four fingers. And then we're going to go down the next string, do the same thing, and then so on, all the way down the strings. Now when you do this exercise, again try and keep your fingers over the frets. So you don't want to keep these fingers over here. And let... So you want to keep them all over the frets. And so on. So again, let's try it with the backing. So starting on the fifth fret. And one, two, three, four. Next string.
Now I do have a link on my YouTube channel as well uh, describing this finger exercise where you can play along to a backing and it gradually gets faster and faster so you can really test out your speed. But it, it works on going all the way down the frets and when you get to the bottom it moves up one fret and goes backwards. So check out that video and again don't worry if it's too hard just worry about this one in this lesson for now as long as you can do that. Now for those people that do have musician you can try the missions called start the lead path and start the rhythm path. So they work on the first two strings uh, there might be one on the third string as well and the, the rhythm path starts with the sixth, the fifth and the fourth string. So over to our three new chords. So in the last lesson, lesson one, we learnt the E minor chord, which looks like this. So our next chord is called an A9. So it's the same shape, but all we're going to do is take these two fingers down one string. But this time we're only going to play five strings. So make sure you don't play that sixth string. So we've got E minor and A9. So let's try it with the backing. So starting on E minor. One, two, three, four. Now move your fingers down a string and back up. Whenever you're ready, you can change it. So you might want to change it here. Or you can wait to the beat, then change. Fingers down and back up down to A9 and finish on E minor. Okay, the next chord is called E major. Now, again, we're going to go back to our E minor chord, but this time we're going to add our first finger on the first fret on the third string and make sure you use the tops of the fingers because so again this is another one where if you don't use the top you'll hear that this type of sound so you want to make sure all your fingers are using the tips and sometimes you might even get a, a muted first string as well like and what this means is your flesh in the palm of your hand might be touching the string so just make sure that you're moving your hand right up. Okay. Now with the backing, just the E chord. And one, two, three, four. And make sure you play all six strings. One, two, three, four. And the next time we're going to strum and pick through the notes. Two, three, four. So make sure they're all nice and clear. Now the strumming. Okay, so now the next chord is A minor. So we're going to go back to the E major again. And this time we're going to move all the fingers down one string. So your second and third finger go to the third and fourth string. Your first finger is going to go to the second string on the first fret. And we don't play the sixth string this time. So just five strings. And that's A minor. So the A minor chord. So get ready. And one, two, three, four. And remember just the five strings. And one, two, three, four. And again, strum and then pick through the five notes. One, two, three, four. to the strumming.
For the next exercise, we're going to change from E to A minor. So again, like we did before, it was the E minor in the A9, but this time adding in our first finger. So we're going to start on the E major chord. And one, two, three, four. Now down to the A minor. And again, you can change whenever you want. As long as you're ready to go back on the beat. Two, three, four. Back up to E. And down to A minor. And don't forget to watch your picking hand as well. So E, six. A minor, five. And finish on E. Now for those that do have musician, this is where you can check out the mission called Cowboy Chords. So it covers the E major chord, E minor, and A minor. Now also when I do refer to E major, when you see the E chord written in a lot of books, you might see it just as E. So I won't have E major, just a capital E. So if it is E minor, we'll have an E and a little M next to it. So our five chords so far are E minor, the easy G, A9, E major, and A minor. So I hope you've enjoyed the first two free lessons. So from here, it's really up to you on how far you want to take it. You have the choice to purchase the next eight lessons for $40 where you learn lots more exercises and songs and other chords. And there's all PDFs to each of the, the songs that you can follow along as well. Now you'll also receive a copy of my book called Become a Guitarist Today that also has PDFs and other tips for your playing. Or if you want to, you can purchase the individual lessons for only $7.50 a lesson. Now you will get access to the closed Facebook group as well where you can share your progress with others and ask any questions. Now here's what you will learn in the next eight lessons. So you're going to learn one of the most important things there is to learn about guitar playing. And that's how to learn tablature. Now by doing this, you'll be able to play millions of songs out there on the net and on YouTube, wherever you want to learn from. So I'll show you the best apps and websites to learn as well. You're going to learn more melodies, chords and strumming patterns. And by lesson 10, you'll be able to play at least five songs on my book, Become a Guitarist Today, that I've wrote especially for this course. And then at the end, you have the chance to perform in live at one of my Facebook concerts. So I really hope to see you at the next lesson so I can help you become a guitarist today.